In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to accompany a reel called Lord Ramsey's, also known as Big John McNeil. I have Shane Hayes on the button accordion to play it for us. We're going to play it once through just to get it in our ear. I'm going to go through the rhythm with you. Then we're going to bring up the chord charts on the side. We're going to up the tempo. And then I have a bonus at the end where you can practice on your own. At the bottom, you can find the timestamps below this video to jump to any section you want. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click that subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. We'll start with the rhythm for this tune, and I want to show you three different types of ways to accompany this with the right hand, uh, different levels. So the first will be a very simple, real rhythm. So one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and... So that'd be... You want to push that one to one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and all the ands are upstrokes. So that's very simple, uh, real rhythm. So one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Dum, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, dum, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. So you want to up that uh, to tempo. If that's new for you, I have loads of real rhythm tutorials on this channel. You can check that out. But I want to move on to this different type of real uh, rhythm for this particular tune, which has three boom chucks at the start. So it goes boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four. That's how it, it goes slow. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and. Boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, one, two, three, four. When I say boom chuck, I mean bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble, one, two, three, four, bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble, one, two, three, four. So three bass trebles and then a down, up, down, up. And that's up to speed, sounds like this. Bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble, one, two, three, four, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, one, two, three, four. So that's a level two. So what we can add on to that then would be a mute. So instead of the chuck, which would be the treble side of things, we're going to mute it with our, our left hand here. So it goes bass, mute, bass, mute, bass, mute, one, and two, three. I'll count that again. Bass, mute, Bass mute, bass mute, one, two, three, four, bass mute, bass mute, bass mute, one, two, three, four, bass mute. Bass mute, bass mute, bass mute, one, two, three, four, bass mute, bass mute, bass mute, one, two, three, four. So that might be something you'd want to practice. Uh, start slow. So once again, kind of, you can. You can start with just using the, the bass treble. Bass treble, bass treble, bass treble, one, two, three, four, bass treble, bass treble, bass treble, one, two, three, four. And then adding in that left hand mute. So bass mute, bass mute, bass mute, one, two, three, four, bass mute, bass mute, bass mute, one, two, three, four. And it's just a case of linking up that, that mute timing with your down strum. So bass mute, bass mute. Bass, mute, one, two, three, four. And that up to speed again would sound like this. So there'd be different rhythms that you could play around with with this tune. So give that a try. As I said, maybe use a metronome just to kind of get your right hand going and linking it up with your left hand. And um, yeah, uh, 
I'll have a slower version of the tune later on in the video so you can listen to that and even before you start playing around with the chords maybe just get that right hand locked in. So if it is locked in let's move on to the chords now. When I'm back in this particular tune with that right hand rhythm style a nice thing that goes along with it would be a moving bass line. So that's what I'm going to show you here. We're in the key of G major with the capo on the fifth fret and we're going to start with this D modal shape and it might sound like this for the first part. So we're moving all on this lower bass string and then for the second time around of part A we might start using some of these inside lines. So let's go through all of this. We're gonna start with this D modal shape here, two finger shape, and the first line is gonna be going from this open, I'm just gonna to refer to it as if the cap was not on, the open D, then this would be an E note, and then up to an F sharp note. So it would go like this. And that little finger is going to be planted there, that's not gonna move at all, so. using your first and your third finger. And just um, just get comfortable with that, moving that up to tempo, so. And just get used to moving these and keeping that little finger in place. So that'd be the first phrase. And these are just suggestions. This is what I play. You can create your own bass lines from this as well. So moving up here, we're gonna, the next chord we're gonna have is this G major shape, three finger G major shape. So it goes, we go G, we're sliding down to this F sharp shape. We, there's your D modal, and we'll just have our third finger down on the low D string, fourth fret, and then we're gonna have our first finger down, little finger is still in the same place, that hasn't moved at all, so you're from the top. That's what it's gonna sound like, so we go G, F sharp, so that's a quick movement from the F sharp down to this, what would be an E note. So that's the next thing you'd practice, that line. Just get very comfortable with that. Then link line one and line two together, so that'd be gone. that again and you can really you can strum out that G if you want so uh, just to kind of give that those brighter tones after all of that muting it's nice to kind of really push some chords so something like that so after that I'll continue on I'll just go from the top and we'll continue on to the next phrase. So it goes like this. So a lot of these notes are gonna be similar to the shapes we've done already. It's just a different order. So we're gonna go around to this. What would it be an F sharp? Then we're going up to it up to the G, back down to the F sharp, down to that E, we have this walk down from F, E, D, F sharp, E, D. That's the full phrase there, so. time. F sharp G, F sharp E, F sharp E, D. One more. D, D, F sharp G, F sharp E, F 
sharply D. For the second time round of part A, we can take that concept of moving bass lines and just play with it on the inside D string. And they'd be the single notes. We can create double stops or two notes together or full chords when we open up those strings. So the reason we're, we're just changing this up is just tonally different. So instead of just keeping things with these lower tones, we can just have these more brighter tones or mid-tones. So it might sound like this. So I went to the outside again just to finish off the phrase, but you can do whatever you want. I'm just giving you examples here of, of uh, different tones we can use. So let's go through the, the first part anyway. It goes boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. We're going to this. F sharp, E, and D. Once again, just practice that. Just get used to doing that and then linking it in with the strum. The next place you could go is up to that G here. So that would sound like this. Once again. And we can link those two together, so it'd be. Something like that. So as you see, it's just tonally different and you can play around with these, these notes. After that, I just go to the lower bass strings like we did at the end of phrase one there. So. so with these, back to these lower notes. But I'm just really trying to show you that you can play around with these inside notes and these outside ones with that boom chuck rhythm. So let's have a listen to part one, nice and slow, and you can try and follow my left hand line here as we go through it. If you're enjoying things so far, please do give it a like and a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. If you have any comments at all, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. On to part two now, and this is how I would play part two. It goes. Something like that. So what are we doing there? We're going from this D modal and then I'm using the same kind of phrase that we've covered already. With that inside. And to start off phrase two, I have a big kind of big leading uh, leading tone all the way down from the bottom to the top, uh, just to kind of push that that part two and you know really show people, okay, we're we're into a new section here. So this is the interesting part, we're going to this C shape chord, so that's three finger chord, and then we're going from here up to, I play this, you can play it two finger, three finger, uh, G shape, kind of a G modally shape. So that's, that's nice, nice bright tones, so from the top of part two. C and G, C and G, and then we do that phrase again, and next I would be climbing up, I'll be going, you could go like this, up to the A, G, up to this A, high A, or you could go from the low G, up to this. 
this low shape A, whichever tonally you like better. So from the top again, it'd be going C and G, back to this. I do this little phrase here, that's really just to try and follow the melody a bit. It goes. So how do we do that? We go up to the G, down to the F sharp. It's E shape. So that's. First and third finger doing a hammer on, pull off, pull off. something you can throw in if you want so C and G and then we're into the second time round of part B so and this is where I'd slide up to the A could do the inside air. So they are, there's plenty of options to go through there. Uh, we might go a little bit slower through that. So we go C and G back to the phrase again. The best thing to do is really have a listen with your ear, try and follow the tune as much as you can. This is what I do, but don't feel that you're locked into exactly what I'm doing here. These bass notes, you know, use them to follow the tune, the inside, the outside, and play around with some hammer-ons, pull-offs, and just to have a bit of fun with it. So let's have a listen to part two now, uh, nice and slow, and then after this we'll try and up the tempo a bit. We've went through part A and part B at a slow tempo now and we've covered the concepts of moving bass lines on the outside D and in similar shapes on the inside D. We've gone up to the high A shapes as well and maybe add in some hammer-ons, pull-offs while all using that boom chuck. So there's a lot of moving pieces there and now we're going to try and link part A and part B together and go through it. If this is too fast for you, there is a button down on YouTube which you're able to slow it down even more and then when you're comfortable at that slower speed you can raise it up to normal tempo so let's give that a go now <laughs> There's one other concept I wanted to show you which was introducing triplets to this tune. So I have a full video on triplets and I leave that up in the corner and that breaks them down nice and slow. But just to show you how it would be played on this tune, it might be going like this. So that would be on the open string. And you could also do it while doing your moving bass line as well, which might sound like this. So 
something like that. So that's that's a little trickier because you have to think of moving your bass line while doing the triplet. But just to, to slow it down again on that open string. So you want to start slow, work it up, just get that movement, keeping your wrist nice and relaxed. And it's a case of just, you don't have to actually focus on all six strings. That's pretty important actually, just to get that sound of a triplet, you can really focus on three of the strings, either on the low register or the high register. So that's just something that might help. As I said, I have the full video for triplets and that might uh, break things down a lot, a lot better for you. And uh, I have all the, the, the diagrams to, to explain things. So. If you want to check that out, I'll leave that up here and also down in the description. Right, I have a bonus for you now, and this is Shane Hayes playing the tune at a slow tempo, just on his own without me getting in your way, so you can practice and get used to all of these elements. Let's give it a go at a slow tempo first. <laughs> stuff so if you can play it at the slower tempo now we're going to up things to a more of a session tempo but i just want to highlight that if if ever you fall out of step with the bass lines or anything like this just remember you can you can fall back to the standard d modal shape and you can fall back to a, a normal jig rhythm maybe with a bit of muting and and tame things down the melody player will always appreciate a guitar player that that can just keep that rhythm going maybe with a drone so you if if you do fall out of step with the, the bass line, just try and hammer back in and keep playing. You don't want to drop out completely um, and just kind of keep that rock solid rhythm. And then when you're when you're there and you're like, OK, I'm back into the tune and then you can start doing the bass line and the boom shock again. So it's, it's a case of just being able to to go from the simple to the more complex and then you can start adding in dynamics and whatnot. So it, it's it's an all you want to become an all round guitar player and uh, not just have all the the, um, the fancy left hand stuff but not have that solid right hand that's a big mistake you want a, a solid right hand as your number one that's the foundation and then from there building up that said let's move on to the faster tempo with Shane Hayes and I won't get in your way here enjoy <laughs> you got something out of that tutorial if you did here's another one for you it's called coolies reel another full dadgad tutorial and i also have a dadgad cheat sheet which is completely free and it goes through all the main cards from dadgad and i've got a lot crammed onto the one sheet so you can get that for free at my website aidoncoin.com and i will talk to you on the next one